What's going on guys? Welcome to another tips and guide video for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. On today's video, we are going to be going through the steps on how to evolve your Galarian Slowpoke into Galarian Slowbro. But before we do, don't forget to slap the like button like it's a Jigglypuff that's about to sing and hit the subscribe button to not only get more tips and guides videos, but live streams and tons more. If you love Pokemon, this is the place to be. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about getting the Galarian Slowpoke to finally evolve. Now, the first thing that we need to do is we need to get an item, a new item recently added to the Isle of Armor called the Galerica Cuff. This is made up of other items that if you've been playing the Isle of Armor, you may have already started picking up and you may already have as many as you need already in your inventory. But if you don't, that's okay. So let's go ahead and let's travel to the Isle of Armor. And now that we are here, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and walk and or ride around the Isle of Armor. And we want to begin looking for hidden items that are sparkling. Now, if you didn't know or if you didn't pay attention or you just don't bother with it, sparkling items are items that are randomly generated but always randomly generated in the same spots that could give you really cool items. Now, in this case, we're going to be looking near the trees because the one item that we need to make our Galarian Slowpoke evolve is going to only spawn near trees. Now, the item that we are going to be looking for is called a Galarica Twig. Now, the Galerica Twig, once we accumulate eight of these, they're going to be used to create the item that we need. Also, a really cool takeaway for this is while you're searching for this specific item, you're going to naturally just find a ton of other really cool items. In our case, while searching for the Galerica Twigs, we found items like apples and leeks that you can eventually evolve Galarian Farfetch'd later on down the line and tons of other stuff including the pp ups and we love the pp ups so just continue riding or walking around until you have eight of the galerica twigs collected now that we have all eight galerica twigs that we need we can now ride around to the area that we need to go to now whether we ride there or we fast travel there or we take a corviknight to fly there the area that we want to be is the fields of honor now, when we travel to the Field of Honor, right in front of it is a train station. If you look over to the right of the train station and or the northeast of the train station, we're going to see an island that's not too far off in the distance. Again, it's that north northeast area. So let's go ahead and let's ride out to the workout sea and let's head towards that island. Now, once we arrive on the island, we also want to make a quick note, a little PSA, a little plug. We want to let you know that this same island is where you're actually going to find G-Max Blastoise. This is another video that we recently just did, so check the cards right now and cue that one up for later after this video if you want to go ahead and grab an easy G-Max Blastoise. Also, on this island, you're going to notice a lady. How does she even get here? She must be a good swimmer. Am I right? Yeah. She a good swimmer for sure. Also, another side note on this same island, this is where you're going to be able to get various Rotoms. Yes, Rotom is going to spawn on this island, and his different forms are going to be based on weather conditions. So if you haven't already gotten the different Rotom forms, then this is exactly the island that you need to come to during different weather patterns. Okay, enough of the side chat. Let's just go ahead and talk about the item that we need and how we're going to get it. So, go ahead and talk to the lady that is here. Now, once you talk to her, she's going to notice that a slowpoke is actually on your team. She's going to give you a sweater or a sweatshirt that's specific to this event. Now, we already have it, so you're not going to see it on our gameplay here, but you'll get it if you haven't talked to her before. Now, what you then want to do is go ahead and talk to her about the twigs. Now, she has this really cool weaving ability, so she'll take all eight of the twigs that you collected, and she will go ahead and weave the new item, the Galerica Cuff. Now that we have the Galerica Cuff that's in our inventory, finally, after putting in all that work and riding around to find him, we are now ready to evolve our Galarian Slowpoke, finally. 
Now, in my case, this is going to be shiny Galarian Slowpoke. Now, you guys are going to be getting a peek at exactly how Galarian Slowpoke is going to evolve and look as Galarian Slowbro. So, now we can finally go ahead and do this. Also, side note, congratulations. You have finally completed all steps needed to get your Galarian Slowbro. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and let the evolution kind of play through. And if you found this video useful, helpful, and or informative, make sure you guys slap the like button before you leave. Make sure you subscribe for more videos just like this and join our community. Now, go ahead and hit the video on screen right now and go ahead and go get yourself one of those G-Max Blastoises that I just talked about earlier in the video. And in that same location, you can find the subscribe button. Don't forget to do that and we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.